Hello, my fellow Maniacs, 852Maniac here today with a new series. This is a game development series titled, Let's Make a Video Game. And um, this was actually uh, suggested by a subscriber of mine, but I can't remember his name and I couldn't find the video. I was looking for it earlier that he commented on. But you know who you are. Um, just go ahead and leave a comment saying I'm I'm the one who suggested this. I think I'll remember by your uh, your picture or whatever, but... Uh, so yeah, so that basically I'm going to take kind of like a let's play approach to this and uh, actually show you everything that goes into making a game. Now the game we're going to be making is kind of like a RPG game. Um, I'm going to be calling it RuneCraft 2 because I made a game a while back called RuneCraft and um, it was pretty good. I was pretty far along with it. I'm, I'm just not happy with how it turned out. So um, I'm going to be starting over and hopefully making this better. Now I want your guys' help. Actually while I'm talking I'm going to go ahead and start making groups so I can have everything organized so I don't lose a track and all that so it doesn't become all messy so uh yeah so um pretty much I want you guys to help out and participate as much as possible obviously there's not much you can do and uh this in this episode did I spell that right I don't really care at the moment <laughs> doesn't really matter but uh so and yeah so I want you guys to participate as much as you can so, like, if you're good at making sprites or something, go ahead and make me sprites for the game. If you go ahead and suggest some ideas for what I should add to the game, and I'll show them and give you credit. I'll even show, like, a little picture of the comment so that everybody knows that it was you. And if you're good at coding, go ahead and come up with the idea, and I'll ask if you know how to code it. And go ahead and code it, send me over the code, and I will implement it into the video game. So, yeah, so pretty much that's how it's going to go. Um, that's all I'm gonna. I only need two of these right for right now. Let's go and create some groups over here. Now in this episode, we're just gonna be getting our sprites all set up, and uh, actually, we're gonna work on our player movement today as well as the sprites. So let's go ahead and get started on that. So first of all, let's go ahead and get our player sprite. I'm just gonna use a default one for right now. So if you know how to, if you're good at spriting, go ahead and make me a 32 by 32 sprite for our player. Now top down, I'll show you. Something I want something kind of like where's he at? Kind of like our explorer guy right here. So we're gonna be using him. So 32 by 32 would would be great for the dimensions. And uh, just go ahead and send me that. I'll le just go ahead and e either email me it or link me up or PM me a download link. Uh, yeah, over YouTube. So I need player sprites. So now we got that. So now we want to make our player movement thing or I don't know what you, what you would call it I'm just gonna name it SPR underscore move we're gonna also gonna be using this for our generation because I want random generation of the ores and trees and all that so let's go ahead and go new 32 by 32 is working perfectly now let's just go like this go ahead and zoom in also I'm using game maker 8.0 pro version I was gonna use a new the uh, studio but uh it's just not that revi reliable for me. Now, it keeps cutting out my games. It's really buggy. So I'm just going to be using this. So that's right there. That's our sprite. You'll see we're going to have a kind of click to move kind of thing. So let's go ahead and create our player object. OBJ underscore player. And um, give them our sprite. And we're just going to keep them running right now. Actually, let's go ahead and set that up. So when he created. Alright. So when he's created. SPR sprite underscore. Let's see. Sprite delete player. Actually, no, we're just gonna go ahead and use the drag and drop. Make it faster. I'll code it later, I guess. But I'm pretty sure you have to use like draw. We need a draw event for that, and I really don't feel like doing that right now. So we're just gonna do that. Image zero, speed of zero. So there, there's our player sprite. Now we need to create our moving object. OBJ underscore move. Now pretty much all that we're going to have in here is a, a collision event with our object player. And we're just going to have it destroy itself so it'll go away. Instance underscore destroy. Alright. <coughs> I thought it was kind of dry right now. Sorry for that. Excuse me. I'm going to get a drink of water real fast. Okay. 
So basically when our player hits or collides with it, it'll just disappear. We might make it invisible later on, but for right now, we're just going to do that. So now we need a mouse, right, right, global, global mouse, global right, pr go yeah, global right pressed. Sorry, I'm a little tongue-tied right now. Now we just want to instance, oops, I did spell that right, instance, man, okay, there we go, instance underscore create, we want to add mouse underscore x and mouse underscore y, obj underscore move, okay, there's that, and now, Okay, so after that, we need to go to our move. I'm just going to use the drag and drop for this one right now. I'm going to go step avoiding, and we're going to go obj underscore move dot x and obj underscore move dot y. And we're going to have it at a speed of 3, I guess. Is okay, so there's that. So now he should move, and then destroy himself whenever he collides with it or destroy or the you know you know what I'm trying to say <laughs> okay so let's go ahead and get our objects in there just our player object for right now let's go and run our game all right sorry about that I forgot to do something <laughs> when in this we gotta go into our object move and add a create event and we're gonna create a variable global dot move equals true all right, press that, and then collision with object player global dot move equals false. Oops, can that doesn't really matter, but oop, nope, that's not what I want to do. Global dot can underscore move. I just like to be, you know, correct with all this stuff. It doesn't matter. You can just have move, but I just like, you know, okay. So go there and then go into our object player, global right pressed, delete that, go in here, go step, add step event. So we're gonna go ahead and go down here and we're gonna test our variable global dot can underscore move. If it is equal to true, then we want it to step avoiding towards obj underscore move dot x. obj underscore move dot y at a speed of three just like we did before now this should work let's go and test it out okay so let's see if it works we right click he's moving a little fast but we'll change that in the future and you can't click anywhere else while he's moving you can't do it until he actually gets there and then you can go ahead and right click and he'll move again see clicking so um, that about does it for this episode. In the next episode, we are going to be adding probably a background or something, or temporary background until when you guys make me one. I'm probably going to be recording the next episode right after this one, so you won't be able to implement your ideas till about probably episode three. Or Well, these are going to be day by day, so every day. And um, if you want to see the other episodes when they are up, in the description there will be a little show box because I'm going to make this a show. It won't be there for probably a few days because... It has to go through certification with full screen and all that. And then once it gets certified and all that, once it gets approved, then it will officially be a show. And there should be just a little image down there. You click that, and it will take you to a playlist or s of some sorts. Okay. So that about does it. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, favor, and subscribe. And don't forget to punch that like button in the face. I will see you guys next time.